All right, now we just saw a problem similar to this. In fact, uh, three questions ago. The statement is, find the radiation resistance, problem 11.3, for the oscillating magnetic dipole in the figure 11.8. Express your answer in terms of lambda and B and compare uh, the radiation resistance of the electric dipole. Okay, that'll be a fun comparison, by the way. All right, so... Well, we know about the oscillating dipole current and the radiation energy. Well, uh, we were given that the current was I naught cosine omega t, and the radiation energy, uh, the time average pointing vector, we found just last question, actually. That was a massive mess, so I'm just going to quote it here. All right. So our solution then, well, the power from the current, we're just going to set up the same way we did in the electrical case. Uh, you know, square everything, time, average that power from the current to get the cosine squared omega t away. Again, we see that that's one half, so we're left with one half I naught squared uh, R. Now, power from the uh, radiation, P is equal to uh, the time averaged uh, pointing vector dotted with the dA. Okay, so if we plug in that time average and the dA being the typical spherical case for the angle angles, uh, you see we get the R's canceling. We like that. Um, let's bring all the constants out front. Let's put up the integrals accordingly. Now, let's be aware that the magnetic dipole moment was equal to uh, I times the vector a, the vector uh, area. So here the area was a circle of radius B. So we get pi B squared times the current. And we highlight that in red. Now, notice that we have a... Um, square from the from the red that the pi that it gets squared from the uh, red substitution that cancels with the pi squared in the denominator we also see that the integrals give us a 2 pi and a 4 thirds so that 32 in the denominator is uh, decreased by a factor of 8 since 2 times 4 from the integrals give us a factor of 8 so that's where we see that reduction by 4 okay but then 4 times 3 gives us 12 so when we equate these two power expressions, we get one half I naught squared R is equal to mu naught B to the fourth, uh, omega to the fourth, pi, um, and then that 12 comes from four times three and C cubed. But it, now that we have to divide over the one half um, I naught squared, we see that the I's cancel, much like the Q's canceled in the electrical case, but that one half reduces everything, or reduces that uh, 12 to a 6. So we find that our uh, resistance is equal to mu naught pi, b to the fourth, omega to the fourth, 6c cubed. Okay, again, since omega is equal to 2 pi c, we can write this in terms of b and lambda. Okay, Let's simplify that down, pretty easy I would say. Um, just be careful because it's to the fourth power. All right, so once we have that expression, we're good to go. That's 8 mu naught C pi to the fifth over 3 and B over lambda to the fourth. Now we apply the constants, and we see that we get 3.8 times 10 to the 5 B over lambda to the fourth ohms, okay? But here, because B is much less than lambda and R goes like to the fourth power, right, um, clearly with the B over lambda to the fourth, that is going to be really, 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 really small. R is typically much smaller than the radiation, the radiative resistance. For the dimensions we used in problem 10 point or 11.3, we'll let B equal 5 and lambda equal 10 to the 3. And then you see that that dimension gets really, really small since you have 5 times 10 to the negative 5 to the 4th. So that's going to be negative 20 uh, once, we square, once we multiply it by 4. So that's going to be really, 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 really small. So what we see here is that once we take the dimensions, plug it in, and put it to the fourth power, the resistance is 2 times 10 to the negative 12 ohms. Okay, this is horrifically small compared. In fact, it is just a millionth of the comparable electric radiation radiative resistance. That is gnarly.